Climate change is the defining issue of our time. It affects not only people, but wildlife. When most people think about wildlife and climate, they probably picture a polar bear somewhere far away from them. But the truth is, the climate is affecting wildlife right here in Idaho, right in our own backyard. We've known about climate change for a long time. It's time to start doing something about it. The entire project has this layer of uh, climate change adaptation. So we're not just looking at what did this area look like historically and how did it function historically, but how can it function into the future um, in a way that's going to be resilient. The whole Kootenai Valley, every year in the springtime when the snow melts, all that kind of stuff, it used to, um, it used to flood, the whole valley used to flood. And it used to create uh, many ecosystems. What we're doing up here on the WMA is we're restoring 250 acres of what we call forested lowland habitat, and that's a priority conservation target in Idaho's State Wildlife Action Plan. So we're focused on a wide range of species, including two bumblebees, two amphibians, a slug, and grizzly bears. We need to be thinking more and more about connectivity. If we're just creating islands of habitat, it's difficult to get the genetic mixing that you need for long-term population viability. It's really important to get the community involved in this project. Citizen scientists are local people who know the land um, and they know things a lot more intimately than maybe um, some people who don't live in the particular area. One of the really interesting, compelling things about this Bees to Bears project is that it's, it's not just one agency deciding to do something on their own little parcel of land. It's a collaboration. It's a new frontier of how can we help these species adapt to a changing climate. 